Galistio back at it again with a really sweet recall box build. And I haven't showed a pre-built recall bo box build in a while. This is a 64 gigabyte fully loaded, over 13,000 games. And this time it is a .img finally, finally. You know, people now are not going to be confused with this one. Uh, as you see, though, we do see some Portuguese in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to show you how to set this all up for English, how to get it started, set your controls, and show you some emulation tests. So far, I've the complaints on previous versions have been addressed. And so I'm really excited to show you guys this one. So stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna help you guys here. It's gonna be up, down, left, right on the D-pad, and then you have the left analog stick up and left, and then the right analog stick up and left, and then A, B, X, Y, start, select uh, bumpers, and then we're gonna go triggers, and then these are your um, analog stick left, analog stick right, just click them in directly down, and then we wanna do select for the hotkey. Now, I believe it's in here, options to system, you're going to click A into there, and then idioma. We're going to go from Portuguese to English here. I'm going to the right. I think maybe going to the left is faster. And then we're going to hit Fetcher, and then we just press OK. And then let's go ahead and go down to... Okay, it's going to restart automatically. And when we reboot up, we should be uh, in English from the recall box front end. So this is how you get started with this image. Something to note is this is only going to work for the Raspberry Pi 3B. It is not going to work for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus because Recall Box is not compatible with the B Plus. So it looks like we're running 18.07.13 version. Uh, we have three gigabytes remaining of space. I want to go ahead and lower it. Oh, that's actually pretty good oh, as far as the sound. And they're going to turn off the front end music. And then it seems that the theme itself, you know, it says Select Chow de Systemis. Systemis. Um, I think if we change the theme, that would um, potentially go away. So this. Alright, so I've messed with the settings a little bit and I'm liking what this is looking like at this point. And um, everything is now in English for the most part. Um, and I showed you how I did that and what I changed. And let's just go ahead and go through here and see what we have. But if you do speak Portuguese, you know, it comes out of the box already for you. They're just if, if you don't, there's a couple of changes you're going to want to do. And there is about, uh, there's some games on here that are not in the proper language and I'll let you know those as we pass through. So let's just go ahead and start with Nintendo. We have 170 games. Nintendo Hacks. You got 926 games. Seems that there's it's a little maybe not organized correctly here. Uh, Dynavision is a collection. You have um, 91 games there. Nintendo, 164, 136. Nintendo 64 hacks, 20 games. Okay, that's correct. Game Boy, 489. Game Boy Advance, 1070. Game Boy Color, 545. Family Computer Disk System, 237. Virtual Boy, 26. Game & Watch, 51. Sega Master System, 294. Tech Toy Collection, 41. Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis, 904. Sega Mega Drive collections and there's brazil flag okay so these are all games in brazil so it looks like he already separated that those out for you uh mega drive 194 sega genesis hacks 198 189 32x 37 sega cd 16 if you're wondering what 16 those are there you go and there is no video snaps in recall box yet dreamcast you got 15 games and Dreamcast runs pretty good for the Raspberry Pi 3. It'll run all these games. Um, as good as the Raspberry Pi 3B+, 
maybe not, but pretty pretty up there. And the other thing too is look how easy it is to overclock. You just go over here to advanced settings, overclock, and you can select any of these options right here. Uh, I've mine can run 13.5, no problem with the proper cooling. I usually don't do extreme, but I can run it. SG 1000, 68 Game Gear, 262 Star Wars Collection. You got 27 Star Wars games. PlayStation, you got 32. What 32? Here you go. You got some favorites at the top. You can favorite games very easily in Recall Box. Also, Recall Box does have Cody on it as well. PSP, you got two games, Castlevania and Street Fighter Alpha 3. TurboGrafx-16, you got 292. TurboGrafx-CD, you got 19. Super Graphics, you got five. Scum VM, these are going to be Brazil, so you can probably delete these. Or, I mean, there's only two on the 64 gigabyte. Neo Geo 171, Cave Story 1, this is Brazilian again. You're going to want to reinstall that if you want English. Atari 2600, 643, 7800, 64, Atari Lynx, 76, Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color, 82, Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan Color, those are pretty standard drops, 112 and 91, Doom, you do have Doom 1, the Ultimate, Doom 2, Plutonium, TNT, and the Shareware version of Doom as well, that's cool, Coley, Co, Vision, we got 149, Vetrix, we got 109, Amstrad, CPC, 360, what is that, 361, not bad, MSX 685, Odyssey 2, we have uh, 116, Capcom Collection, we have um, 72, MAME, 346, MAME 2010 emulator, 397, MAME Hacks, 16, PGM Collection, Aram, all these collections, many, many collections to go through. Let's just go through all the collections and back to favorites. Super Nintendo 830, Super Nintendo Brazilian versions right here. And let's just see. So it looks like you have the regular version, 3 Ninja Kickback, and you also have the Brazilian version, 3 Ninjas Kickback, for example. Okay. Let's go ahead and launch one of these while it's launching. Uh, total games, 13,357. Over 76 systems on this. Pretty impressive. Um, as far as the file size, I'll get that for you in a second. No bezels. It is going to be stretched theme. Ah, yeah. So it is. There it is. It's, it's part English, part Portuguese. Oh, there you go. Now the Portuguese is there. So there's it's really interesting, I guess, how the translation used to work for these games. Let's go ahead and uh, overclock and play some more advanced systems here. Let's go to 13.5, close, and it should just automatically reboot itself, saying, "Do this at your own risk." Risk. Let's go ahead and do Street Fighter. Oh, got the claw. What now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, missed that. One. Got him. So it's running pretty good. And I could go into the PSP settings and maybe up the resolution if I wanted to as well. Um, and then I've always been impressed by the Nintendo 64 performance as well. Comes pretty good out of the gate on a lot of these games. Um, so, and you can see they're all European. So this looks like an update because he got some slack and some people were saying, oh, these games aren't in English. So it looks like he went back through and fixed a lot of that. Um, let's try Wipeout 64. In general, I mean, Recall Box is a nice alternative to RetroPie, as I mentioned in previous builds and videos, that Recall Box to me is a lot more user friendly. You pretty much never need to hook up a, a keyboard. It's all your settings are are accessible through the start and the select button. Uh, once you set up the controls, it seems a lot easier. But uh, one of the things that are not very good is the control like it's just it's less developed of a platform so you get no video snaps the controller compatibility is a little less i'm running a um xbox 360 controller which is always a good choice no matter what kind of 
pie build you're running. Um, with all that said, though, um, you know, it's good to see a recall box build running really well. Uh, either they're few and far between. And the fact that this is an updated version is looking good. Uh, I had somebody email me about the previous version of this that none of the Nintendo was working. And I was like, that's kind of weird. So we'll check that um, as well. So as you can see, I mean, it, it's it's they're stretching the image a little bit here, but it looks you know really well and it's performing really well. That's just me hitting the walls. I'm not actually getting it much as far as graphical glitches or lag. Um, input lag is is non-existent. Is you know really good considering it's a USB connection here. Okay, go that way. It said. Oh, did not see the cliff. Extended time. All right, start select out. So as you can see, running pretty good. Got him. All right, start select out. That game's working pretty good. I might change my controls, go back to config. I might do for L1 and L and at left and R1 and L1, change those to triggers and then do L2 to bumpers. And as I mentioned, somebody said something about Nintendo. So let's just throw that out of the water. I mean, that should be a fairly simple emulation to do. 1943, blow on the cart, boot up the cart. All right. All right. And as you see, it's running just fine. So Nintendo 64, PSP, Dreamcast, uh, running pretty good. Really good stuff. Um, my overall opinion of this, I'm gonna have to give this an A minus. Um, it's still a minus because of the fact that you have to change the language and potentially change the um, potentially change the theme if you want it to be like as I showed you in this video. Otherwise, you'll see how it looks on a um, on a typical if you just boot it up stock on your own. Um, one kudos, one thing that is better is you know here I've tested all the emulation. He's, he's uh, categorized the games now, telling you whether it's a European ROM or a Brazilian Portuguese ROM, which is nice. As well as one of the biggest issues that I was aware of from the previous build is he was using a .bin file. And people are just baffled by this .bin file. They're like, what do I do with a bin file? You know, I can't, it won't write to my SD card. You had to download this program called uh, Image Pass or something similar to that. And this one is now just a, a .img. So the same type of files that you guys have all been used to when it comes time to writing to an SD card is the same for this recall box build as it is for RetroPie and other recall box builds. So it's finally really easy to do, no hiccups there. It's just you use Win32 or PyBaker or Etcher and you're all done. Um, I think I told you what the file size was before, but in case you're wondering, um, it is approximately, will fit on most 64s. I have it on 64 gigabyte Sandus Ultra. It's 59.4 gigabytes at 63,864,570,000 bytes on this. So with all that said, um, A minus, I told you why. Still really good stuff. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you guys got any questions, and we'll catch you on the next one.